do you create a foundation for your no code app that scales? That's what we're going to talk about today. Now, in the last video, we introduced our three step process for going from idea to pilot launch. And in the last video, we talked about the first step which is strategy, making sure that you have the right roadmap in place in order to build your app successfully afterwards. And in this video, we're gonna talk about the second step in this process, which is structure. Now, structure is where you start getting your hands on the development with your app and making sure you are building a foundation for your app that scales in the long run. Okay, this is a really important step because until you have this in place, you are not going to be able to successfully scale and grow your app and thus your business. So today we're going to dive into the structure step. Now make sure you stick around until the end because we also have a new training coming out that is going to deep dive into this three-step process in full and it's going to help you lay your own blueprint and framework for your app to launch and continue growing on top of. So stick around for that. Now, first, if you're new around here, my name is Kristen and I'm the co-founder of Coaching No Code Apps, where we help non-technical entrepreneurs build custom apps so they can launch their app-based businesses or grow their existing businesses all without coding. All right, so before we dive into the structure step in this process, I wanna do a quick recap. Now, if you didn't watch the previous video on our strategy step, then I suggest you go back and do that now. It's going to help put some of the or add some context to this as you move forward. So go check that out if you haven't already. But once you have that strategy in place, but as a quick overview, what we are looking at here on the screen is a plan to achieve your pilot launch. In other words, the launch of the first version of your app. And there is a three-step process that our own clients follow that we've created that takes them to that pilot launch. And that's what we're talking about in these videos. So the first step in that process is strategy. And the, the goal or the outcome of that step is for you to have your idea to users roadmap in place, okay? And I'm not gonna deep dive into this because again, it's in the other video that I just mentioned, but there are three steps here that help you achieve that idea to users roadmap. So this is essentially the blueprint that takes you from your idea stage to having your first users on board. And once you have that in place, you can move into the next steps of this process. So strategy is the first step, and then we have structure, and then we have systems, and once you have those three steps in place, you can reach the fourth step, which is scale. Okay, so you have strategy, structure, systems, which help you achieve your pilot launch. And then you can scale on top of that when you correctly have these in place. Okay, so strategy was in the previous video. And this, in this video, we're going to talk about structure. Okay, so the, the goal of the structure step in this process is to have a foundation that scales. Okay, this is where you start to really get your hands on the actual development of your app. And you are creating a, a base of your app that is scalable. Because what I don't want you to do is skip this step or lay a foundation to build on top of that is not going to serve you in the long run. We want you building a solid foundation that you can scale on top of. So I, I liken this process to building a house very frequently because it's really relevant. You want to lay a foundation for your house, but let's say that you're, you're building a one-story house and you have plans to add uh, another level on top of that. Well, you want to build your foundation that's going to allow you to do that. Now, caveat, I don't know anything about home building, so that might not be accurate, but <laughs> just go with it. Hopefully you can see my point here, right? This is what you wanna do with your app. You wanna build a foundation that you can grow and expand on top of so that you can grow and expand your business as a whole. And there are three steps in the foundation step itself. So those are the ones we're gonna dive into now so that you can come out on the other end with a scalable foundation. Okay, so these are the three steps that our own clients follow. And the first one is to have a blueprint for the foundation section. So this is uh, 
a drawing of a blueprint, clearly. You want to have a blueprint for your foundation. Now, I know we talked about the strategy step acting as a sort of blueprint, but that's really a, a blueprint or a roadmap for your app as a whole, going from idea to launch. So it, it involves a lot of different components. When you get to the structure step, you want to blueprint out two specific things. One, your database for your app, and two, the overall architecture of your app. So the, the pages, the groups, the navigation. This is like the framework. So going back to our home building comparison, if you are building the frame of a house, you are framing out the different rooms, right? You are cutting the holes for where the, the wiring is going to go or the windows are going to go and, and that type of thing, but you're not filling it all in yet, right? You're just creating the framework. And, and I want you to think about doing that for your app. And there are a couple of reasons for this. And this is really important to coming out on the other side with a foundation that scales. Okay. So reason number one for having a blueprint that documents what your database structure is going to look like and what your overall app's architecture is going to look like is to make it so that you can take the, the documentation or take what is kind of like a functional wireframe in a way. And instead of figuring these things out as you actually build them, you are creating them in a, a blueprint, so to speak, and then just taking all of that and kind of plugging it into your app so that the database structure is already decided on, the page navigation and structure is already decided on, and now you just have to build it. So if you think about having a, a wireframe, right, there's lots of tools that help you create wireframes for your app's design. Think about this as a more functional wireframe where you are creating the base for your database structure and your page structure, okay? So that you can then take that and just kind of plug and play and put it into your app's editor and not have to go back and make a bunch of changes once you're actually putting these things into your editor. It makes your development a lot more streamlined and a lot cleaner. And that leads us into the second reason for why you need to kind of blueprint this out. Having a foundation that scales is not just about your app's performance or functionality. It, it is about that, but it's also about making sure that your app can be managed and maintained and can continue growing efficiently and effectively long term. Now, what happens with a lot of entrepreneurs who are building no-code apps is oftentimes they're coming in as solo founders or maybe small teams, and they're building everything on their own. Now, that's fine, right? That's good. That's a way you can leverage no-code. It, it enables you to do that. But what often happens is after they launch their apps and they start having users come on board, they get maxed out, really, because then a lot of other things start to happen. One, they need to start iterating the app based on user feedback. Two, they need to manage that feedback, communicate with users. Three, they need to continue expanding the app beyond that. They need to continue with their user outreach, their marketing, their sales, their maintenance, just the general bug fixing, right? The management of the app, it's a lot. And so quickly, when, when you launch your app and it starts to grow, you'll find that you do need extra help just with the general maintenance and management of your app. And so a lot of people need to bring in-house developers on board just, again, to take over that day-to-day -day maintenance so that as the app's founder and owner, you can focus on the growth, okay? It's important that you set yourself up to be able to do that. And having a blueprint for your app's database structure your app's overall architecture, the page structure, the navigation, creating that first and tweaking it and refining it and making sure that that is correct first means you now have onboarding documentation for your potential junior developers that you bring in-house for the day-to-day -day maintenance of your app. So while this process that takes you from idea to launch, while it's obviously most of it's focused on 
you being able to plan and build and launch your app. It's also forward thinking and making sure that you can continue actually growing your app long term and you're not going to run into massive bottlenecks down the road. Okay, so that is the, the blueprint section here. Okay, now how can you do this? Well, for, for our own clients, we have um, visual ways of mapping these things out. Okay, but if you just think about creating a wireframe for your database structure, for your page navigation, your overall app architecture, then there are lots of different ways that you can do that, but just make sure that you document it out beforehand because it's gonna help you a lot immediately and in the long run. Now, from there, the next step is to go ahead and actually build out your database in your, in your app, in your editor. So. I'm going to, let's see here. This is going to be like a file folder here from my excellent drawing skills. I'm sure you can see that. Okay. <laughs> this is our database, right? Now you want to actually build out your database. And while we're not going to go through how to actually build out your database in this video, because that it could cover many other videos, what I do want to make sure you understand at this stage is that your, your database is not set in stone. Okay, so what a lot of people are held back by is they, let's say they have their blueprint here for what they want to create. And then when they go to create it, they start thinking of all the what ifs that might come later. So, okay, I'm creating this database structure now, but what if later on I have this feature in place? Or what if later on I need X, X, and X? And then it becomes seemingly impossible to create a database structure because they can't answer those questions yet because they haven't, they, they can't find the answers until those things happen, right? So it's kind of like this, uh, is it, does the chicken or the egg come first sort of situation? And so what I want you to understand at this stage is that the database structure that you create or the database that you create, it's not set in stone, okay? You want to lay the foundation, but it can and it will evolve over time and it will grow as your app evolves and grows, okay? So you don't need to and nor should you build out your database for what you think it might look like a year from now, okay? That's where you start veering off track towards having a scalable app because all you're doing in that case is really just muddying the waters, right? Because you're building a bunch of guesses and assumptions that you can't validate potentially for, you know, a, a year or more. And so you need to build what you need now, the structure that you need now, and know that it's not set in stone. Now, the, the last thing that you want to do in this step is create your page structure, or your apps overall navigation architecture. Okay, so uh, what I've drawn here is kind of like uh, a user navigating from one page to another or from one group to another. And I had mentioned when we were talking about the blueprint up here that this section kind of serves as a, or this blueprint rather, kind of serves as a more functional wireframe. And what I want you to do when you start building out your actual apps architecture, the pages and the navigation, is take what you have in this blueprint and just create the frame of it within your app. So don't worry about functionality yet, okay? Don't, don't build the functionality yet. That comes in the next step, which is systems. Instead, just create the frame and that is it. One of the ways you can more easily create this overall app architecture is to think about your app in terms of actions and outcomes. So what actions will a user be taking in your app and what outcomes will they need to achieve? Okay, that can be outlined in that blueprint that you create and then brought over into the architecture of your app when you start building out that navigation. So what actions are a user or multiple user types potentially going to be taking in your app and what outcomes do they need to be able to achieve? Once you figure those out, then you can start to understand the processes that a user will go through between the action 
and the outcome or the processes that need to happen behind the scenes in your app for the user to go from action to outcome. And once you have those, again, they can act as a much more functional wireframe for you. So you want to take your blueprint, tweak that, make sure it, it lays the, the base for this foundation, okay? And it's gonna help you then build that out in your app. And it's going to create documentation for you to potentially bring an in-house developer on board later on. Take that, create your database structure. Remember that it's not set in stone. So don't let yourself get held back because you're trying to answer questions that you, you literally can't answer yet. Okay, so create what you need now, and then think about building out your app's architecture in terms of actions and outcomes that a user will need to take. And that's gonna help you understand what the flow of your app needs to look like. And therefore what pages, what screens, what groups are necessary, what type of navigation menus are necessary in all of that. Now, once you have those things in place, then you have your structure step complete in the process and you should come out on the other end with a foundation that scales. And remember, a scalable foundation means an app that you can build on top of, but also an app that can effectively be managed and maintained long term. This will set you up to do both of those things. And once you have all of this in place, then you can start looking at systems. Okay. And systems are, again, what give your, your app that unique and custom logic that differentiate your app, right? That's what brings the life into your app, essentially. So you have strategy, which is your roadmap to go from idea to users. You have your structure, which is the foundation of your app that scales, right? Both technically and from a business standpoint, then you can move on to systems, which we'll cover in another video. At the start of this video, I mentioned that we have a, an extended training that is coming out soon to help take all of this much further. And what that's going to include is a more structured process of going through strategy, structure, and systems steps. So we're actually going to have templates and extended training that guide you through those. So templates for you to execute on some of the things that we've gone over in this video, in a previous video, and in the next video, and training to go along with those so that you can have a full roadmap and blueprint for your app as you go from idea to launch. So that's going to be released on Cyber Monday, which is Monday the 29th. And so we're going to have a few more announcements leading up to that. But go ahead and subscribe to our channel and make sure you have notifications turned on because leading up to that, we're going to release another video that goes through the systems step in this process and make another announcement for that extra template and training that you can get access to on Cyber Monday. So again, subscribe for more updates on that so you can grab that on the Cyber Monday release. All right, we'll look forward to having you on board with that. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you in the next one.